Good morning, friends, and welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Brianne, and this is Diary of a Homemaker. Today, we are actually gonna be doing a Sunday kitchen restock. So if you aren't familiar with that, it is a trend that someone actually started over on TikTok. I will be sure to add her information below so you can go and check her out. She was the original creator of this, and she can kind of explain what it is and how she got started doing that. But basically, it is where you make several different things at the beginning of excuse me, beginning of the week and you have those things to eat all week long. So I did have some zucchini that I had picked from the garden this morning. I did need to go ahead and get that taken care of. And so with our zucchini, all we do is shred it and then store it in freezer quart bags. Now I don't use my vacuum sealer for zucchini simply because the moisture content in the zucchini is just way too high and our vacuum sealer just does not give a super great seal whenever something has a ton of moisture in it. So I do find that using the freezer bags for zucchini specifically is just a better option for us. So once we get those put in the bags, I do make sure and go ahead and label them. I know it's so easy to just throw things in the freezer and then they get lost in the freezer and then you find them and you have no idea how old they are. So I am really, really trying to make an effort to make sure that we get everything labeled and put the year on it so we know exactly when it came from and what exactly it is. So. Here I am labeling it, and then these will just get stored flat in the freezer. They take up so much less space whenever you freeze them flat, and freezer space is definitely a premium. So before we can get started making some of the other things, I do need to go ahead and get our table wiped down. We did not get it wiped down after dinner last night, so here I am. I do really like using the wide mouth jars for the fruit parfaits simply because it's wider and then I do end up adding the granola which makes it so much easier to stir. One quart of the yogurt and we just use plain, plain yogurt, the Greek yogurt so it's a little bit higher protein and a little bit thicker but one quart does do about four jars and I just, I don't measure anything, I don't have time for that, I just put it in the jar the best I can equally as best I can and call it good. So once I get all of those put in the jars, I'll go ahead and top it with blueberries. Blueberries are my favorite. I'm primarily the one that eats them. So blueberries, it is, it's what's what we're gonna do. Um, I have really been enjoying these wild blueberries from Aldi. I had never purchased them before, but I do really like them. So I will probably continue to buy these. Um, so yeah, I just go ahead and start adding these to the jars. And again, I'm not measuring anything. I'm just using a measuring cup just to be able to get them out of the bag and pour them into the, into the jar. So once I get all of those in the jar, I will go ahead and put the lids on them. I had mentioned adding granola and I do, but I don't add it at this point because it can tend to get really soggy and that's not really what I'm looking for. I really want the crunch of granola. So I do add granola to another jar and then I've been adding walnuts just for some healthy fats. So I do the granola and then I do the walnuts. I only had three clean jars, so that's all I ended up doing for now, but whenever I get some more jars clean, I will go ahead and add a fourth jar. That way we have an equal number. So like I said, I just go ahead, I add the granola in there, I don't measure, I just put it in there and then I top with walnuts and then I'll go ahead and screw the lid on. These will get stored on the shelf behind me and then the yogurts will just get stored in the refrigerator and all of those frozen blueberries will defrost in the refrigerator and they defrost beautifully. So don't worry about that, it'll be fine. They'll last in, they'll last in there all week, so really great to have, really handy to have, and I just really enjoy having them in my fridge ready to go.
Next thing on the list was to work on this cookie dough. And I actually did start this cookie dough yesterday. I was craving something sweet. And so I went ahead and made a double batch of this oatmeal cookie dough. I will be sure to link all of the recipes in the description box below. Um, so I had made this yesterday and then I just let the remainder of it just sit in the refrigerator. I do really like using a cookie scoop for this simply for the fact that everything is the exact same. So everything is going to cook equally. I don't have to worry about some cookies being overdone, some cookies being underdone, but basically I just dish this out. So these are going to get cooked. I'm only going to do one tray that's going to be cooked and those will be used for this week for lunches, for desserts, and then whatever cookie dough we have left. I'll actually go ahead and spoon out and then it will get frozen spooned just like this. That makes it so easy. I can just grab out one or I can grab out a dozen and I will actually cook them from frozen. So this is a great way to stock your freezer and I am going to be doing a video on this and how I do this specifically, but it is a great way to stock your freezer. So making the mess one time, having things for multiple times, is amazing. I cannot explain how life-changing it is whenever I grasped that concept. Just making something once and then being able to enjoy it many, many times. So like I said, these are going to go ahead and get cooked. These will go in the oven and then all the other ones will get dished out and we'll get those frozen. And the last thing we did this day was go ahead and make up our waffles. And like I mentioned before, this is my pancake recipe as well. And I will be sure to link this recipe below. It is not my, my recipe that I invented. It's a recipe that I found that I really enjoy that I will continue to use because it's just great. So I do go ahead and mix everything in this bowl and then you'll see I go ahead and portion it out into the waffle iron. I do really love this specific waffle iron simply because it looks like the, like the waffles look like the, 
name brand waffles that you get that you can just pop into a toaster. I really like that. My kids really like that. They're going to eat that and that's what matters. I really should have gotten a bigger bowl for this, but it is what it is. Once I get all the dry ingredients added to the bowl, I do go ahead and give it a, a little bit of a whisk just to incorporate some of that baking powder. If you watched my Azure, my most recent Azure haul, you'll remember me mentioning how much baking powder this recipe calls for, and it really does. So I did do a double batch for this, and so that means I used seven teaspoons of baking powder for this specific recipe. I really do go through the baking powder and I would just really love to go ahead and purchase a bigger um, or more more of them I should say so once I go ahead and get this whisked I will go ahead and add the milk and then I will go ahead and add the eggs so these are farm fresh eggs they're from our chickens and if you know then you know always always add them one at a time so you will see I go ahead and add them one at a time just to be sure that there's no, nothing funky going on in those eggs. And then we'll just go ahead and start cooking them. So I do use an ice cream scoop for to dish it out. It just works really well. Again, consistency. It's just so easy to dish out equal amounts every time and they're all going to look the same. I had mentioned earlier that this does take a little bit of time, but sometimes it's just really nice to sit and do something like this, keep my hands busy. I do take the opportunity during times like this to go ahead and catch up on some of the YouTube channels that I really enjoy to watch. Um, I don't always have time to just sit and stare at my phone or watch YouTube, but there are some channels that I really, really love watching some channels that have really inspired me and channels that I will somehow try to fit fit in my day a time to be able to watch them. So you'll see I am just going to sit here and I'm just going to hang out and I'm going to make waffles and I'm going to binge some of my favorite YouTube channels. So it works, it works out. If you are still here thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed today's video like I said I will be sure to go ahead and link the original creators idea behind this um, every week is different the amount that I make is different which is kind of the beauty in it again thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys next time bye